Hey everybody, welcome back. Northern Lion, The Binding of Isaac, Afterbirth Plus. <laughs> Can't believe, uh, that's ten of the hardest wins I've ever gotten in my entire life, Ruka. And it looks like it's not over. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I'm, bizarrely, I'm like a little bit more afraid to be a Polyon. R's now Q is our seed today. Um, Apollyon is a very, very interesting character because Void is a very, very interesting item. Um, I think there are. I I think I'm coming to this situation with Apollyon here with brand new eyes. Any item that affects relevant stats, i.e., even Lard, even Lard. You need a golden calculator to divide. Anyway, um, roses by Andre three thousand. Anyway, um, actually that's not fair. It's an outcast joint because it does have a uh, big boy in it as well. He's he's the featured. You know, well he's she's got a hottie's body, but her attitude is potty. When I met her at the party, she was hardly acting naughty. Uh, anything that gives us stats, I think we take. As long as the stats are relevant. Anything, because now at this point I've, I've come to the realization, of course, that, you know, stats are incredibly rare to come by. Uh, anything that doesn't give us stats, like for example, Lazarus's crown that we just, uh, or Lazarus's uh, rags, I should say, that we just yeeted. Um, send it to the Shadow Realm and, and turn it into relevant stats instead. And, I mean, we got a really good thing going here. I want to be clear, I did not mean to use Void. That was an accidental spacebar item press that I would describe as a, a little bit of a keeper hangover. But that's okay, we'll walk it back here. I will not yeet a, uh, a speed upgrade. However, just about any other... Uh, meaningless stat upgrade will be yeeted. And, you know, I, I've really come to the terms with the fact that uh, Void is best served probably by turning your boss items into stats. There are so many useless and near useless boss items in the game right now um, that I think I've, I've never been happier to be a Polyon now that I think about it for more than, you know, a quarter of a second. Okay. So, hey, 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 what, dude, they, they colluded to cut me off there. That was incredible. Sorry, we're still, I mean, we're crushing it on an HP front here. Should get you. What do you got for me? It's an example of an item that is not useless. However, I think the speed was more valuable, so I think that, that worked out for us. It was a really, really strong first floor, considering it looks like we got no items. <laughs> Basically doubled our rate of fire uh, and picked up some HP. That's And that rate of fire, hey man, like it, it multiplies any damage upgrade that we happen to get for the rest of the game. So, you know, we're feeling real positive about that. You know your Isaac skills are dialed in when you, like, no look walk off home run shoot an enemy you know like you stop shooting right as your brain goes oh, that's probably enough you pick up all these weird you know passive masteries when you play one game way longer than it was ever meant to be played like my brain just sends me a little signal sometimes that's like i think that guy's done you don't need to shoot anymore and and oftentimes it's actually right that time it was it was not even close on that guy but we'll go back for that so what would we like to see? I don't know, dude, I'm telling you. Passives are the dream. Give me more, uh, ow. Um, give me more good passives or passives that are easily eatable for stats. That's, that's where I'm at right now. Actives with void, nah. Now, I've been pretty vocal, you know, some of the late stage uh, Isaac, Changes in items have, have not made me, you know, thrilled. But I'll tell you right out of the gate, I think Void is one of the coolest items they ever added to this game. I think this room is, uh, is comically bad, but Void is innocent. Thank you. Void's a cool item. You can build it in a variety of different ways. It gives you that polymorphism you don't normally get in, uh, in Isaac. Whoop! 2020 is way too good to pass up. 
There's, you, you don't get better than that. That's close to double damage. Okay. Oh, you know what? I'll spend a key. I was hoping to buy a bomb. <sighs> it's a weird one. Um, I forget what Pandora's box gives you here, but for seven cents, whether it's spirit hearts or consumables, I think it's very worth it. Um, and then you can come back here and get this. Again, well worth it. Um, and I think our other bomb, we will try this. That's unfortunate, but an attempt was made. We wanted to get the five extra cents, but we still got a lot out of our purchase. Yeah, this is... We have a very potent run right now. I'm, uh... I'm feeling pretty confident. It also feels very weird to be in a position where we can actually make mistakes and still win. Haven't been there for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Not to say we played perfectly on either our most recent loss and keeper runs, but we, we played well enough. It's an extremely good get. Um, and I think we can afford to invest in a guppy item here, you know, it's future prospects. Head down to the next floor, feeling just extremely good about our situation. It's always nice when, when Isaac works out this beautifully for you. You know, I... It's been a busy week, haven't been able to record as much as I would like, and a lot of the Isaac episodes recently have actually gone pretty long. Um, you know, we, we've had several, like, close to an hour long episodes. Um, which is totally fine. It's just more content. I was really hoping we'd pick up an item in one of those so we could void it. Um, but it, it's also always nice to, you know, I mean, we've put in our time, I guess is what I'm trying to say. All I mean by that is, uh, having invested, you know, in, in a lot of runs recently that ended up being a little bit stressful, we kind of deserve a more typical Isaac run that's just like, hey, you know, you're, you're not, you're not set in stone. You could lose this one, but you're probably not gonna. It's, it's not quite inconceivable, but it's like, it's, it's hard to conceive. No, we will not be taking that. Um, honestly, one of the only things that would throw me for a loop right now, hey, we can take pills again, uh, is uh, is picking up Tick accidentally. You know, losing Cracked Crown would compromise our rate of fire. It'd be a modest issue, but nothing too serious. I wouldn't get yourself all up in a tizzy or anything like that. I'm excited for this weekend. You know, and it, it, it might make me sound like I'm a hundred years old, but I don't think that's true. You know, you only, uh, you don't move that much. And you know, it's one of those, uh, I mean, I, I'm making an anecdote about moving. It's basically where I'm, I'm setting the stage for the anecdote now. Um, in case you're wondering behind the scenes, this is the director's DVD commentary. Um, stay away. I, uh, we have a, a big assortment of furniture being delivered this weekend. I'm very excited. Um, you might be saying, oh, this is a lot of furniture. You've been assembling furniture nonstop. Hold on, Binky, very helpful. But now tiers upgrades are probably not uh, necessarily worth that much. I think we will still take this, though. Um, you know, I don't think we're going to take advantage of it yet, but we do want you know, the, the respawn ability, if possible. We're not sacking that much to get it. Um, it's true, but, you know, you have to keep in mind, pretty much all the furniture that we have in our, like, the domiciles we've been living in for, like, the last seven or eight years has been temporary furniture. I'm not complaining. I'm an easygoing guy, but, like, you know, the couch we have right now, we bought it for, like, a hundred bucks on Craigslist in 2013 and it's like it's not a bad couch the couch is functional but at the same time it's is old and we don't know where it was before we had it you know what i mean you never know what might what kind of shenanigans might have happened on this couch i think we just want to leave maybe we buy a key but i'd, I'd rather save our money i think so, you know, there's that. And then our bed has been basically... Eh, it's a speed upgrade. Um, sure, I'll try. 
I'll, I'll now go buy a key. It paid for the key, at least. Our bed has been broken, and we've just kind of been, like, living with it. And then, you know, we're going to have a larger kitchen. And it doesn't come with an island. So we buy, like, a, you know, a movable island. You know, it's, it's stuff that's relevant, if that makes sense. You know, it's not just willy-nilly. But Saturday is the day where we could actually theoretically start living in our new place. We're not gonna, I still got a little, I got a lot of setup actually to do in my office still um, to make it, you know, streamer friendly. I gotta get the LED light panels on the back. Every time we get a subscriber, it's gonna do a little flutter. No, it's, it's not gonna do that, but, um, you know, I wanna we take our time and set it up properly. Get some actual lighting, especially as a as a bald individual. Lighting is very important because uh, you know the lighting I have in this room right now basically is just a single light fixture that points straight down on the top of my head. It's functional, but at the same time, it's uh, it's not ideal. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, people are like, why does NL, you know, his camera look so bad? And I'm like, the camera is the same camera that 99% of streamers have. Look, it's not as good as Mouth's 4K camera, but that's because he's using a real camcorder there. My man understands video production. Um, but for me, you know, I'm like, it's it's mostly, lighting makes a huge difference. So we're, we got some light fixtures that are hopefully a little bit more streamer friendly. And, uh, you know, it's also going to be nice to have... Uh, more space in the office so that you know it won't heat up to 35 degrees celsius because we have the lights on um so that's a big one anyway but on saturday the bed frame is going to be delivered we could actually sleep in a new place that's when it becomes real but like it has been i mean it's been a busy month we're still using uh cookware that basically like when I moved to Vancouver, Kate's landlord was like, if you guys want these like crappy old pots and pans, you can take them. We've been using them for like seven years. And like, you know, again, they're functional. I'm not saying they're unusable, but you know, the handles don't attach quite right. And you know, sometimes when you cook on high heat, you smell like burning plastic, which cannot be good. I don't use that pot anymore. I'll definitely take Incubus. Um, You know, we got spoons, like, we got heavy metal spoons that are nice, but then every once in a while you reach into the spoon section, you pull out one that's, like, the weight of a piece of paper, and you're like, what is this spoon for? I don't even understand. This spoon is specifically just for stirring, which I don't do that often. Yo, this run is so good, dude. So it's exciting. But it has also been, you know, it's been a busy month, especially at the Visa Corporation. I'm excited to get it all set up. And what I was going to say earlier, you know, is it is one of those, like, it's one of those pivotal moments. You know, whenever a car commercial tries to sell you on, like, your life's made of only a few big moments. You know, it's always, like, graduating from high school, getting your driver's license, graduating from college, moving into a new house, which is usually shown um, with uh, a young man painting a baby's room and then looking at his... Uh, his wife, and then she's got her hand on her belly, and you're like, oh, you, Nissan, you're really laying it on thick here. But moving into a new place is a big deal. So it's, I'm, I've been enjoying it. I've been, I've been stopping to smell the roses. Could you perhaps provide me with a key? Uh, you know, it's an equivalent exchange there. If we can't get anything else, like, we can't get anything else, you know? It's not that big of a deal. It is frustrating to not be able to go into item room or shop, but at the same time, we did, uh, invest all of our keys into opening golden chests instead, which I would not not recommend. I mean, the run is looking awesome. Haha, <laughs> I feel asleep too. Um, we'll, we'll play this... I think till we get to 15 cents. I would obviously love a key, but... If we can't get it, we can't get it. Arrow walk is just like... 
It's not worth much. We definitely played way past 15 cents, by the way, but, I, I, you know, to be honest, just wasn't really paying attention. Let's move on. <laughs> right, Ruka? He said yes. He said yes. You know what I haven't been to in a while? And, you know, it should tell you something I said. Is, wow, I haven't been to the dang old movie theater. Since I saw Joker 10 days ago. Now that I think about it, it's not really that long. <laughs> but over the summer, which is, you know, sadly now a fading memory, um, we were seeing, like, a movie every two weeks. So we're still not quite at that level yet. But um, I like going to the movie theater. I was weird. Malf and I were talking about it on, on stream once. I just like being at the movie theater. I know a lot of people hate it, but... Uh, in our increase, and I think this is, this is a weird take, but just work with me on this one, okay? In our increasingly always connected life, where, you know, I'm not making the, oh, everybody looks at their cell phone, isn't that sad sort of bit. It's quite the opposite. I think, you know, the internet and the access that it provides to knowledge and also communication is just, you know, it's unbelievably amazing, right? I think it's an insanely good thing for the most part, with a couple of negative quandaries associated with it, but, um, you know, having a, a situation that basically, you know, kind of forces you to just disconnect and enjoy, uh, you know, what you're watching and, and think about it critically, I think it makes a big difference, you know, I think it's just a nice, uh, it's a nice way to relax. I'm also realizing now, I have an enormous hole in my pants. <laughs> I scratched uh, next to a sensitive region, and I was like, that denim is feeling a little thin. And indeed, um, yeah, that's... Uh, my I, my pants always... I, I, I'll level with you, okay? I go through socks real quick, and I go through pants real quick. Like, pairs of pants tend not to last more than, you know, a year, 14 months, you know, with me. I don't understand what it is, but, uh, the, uh, the, the crotchal region, it always wears out. And this is not, I, I mean, I don't think it means anything. You know, I, I, I'm not suggesting, like, oh, I got, I'm packing so much flesh down there that n even, you know, nice jeans can't stand up to. I'm just, whatever my body shape is, um, and, and my use case, apparently. Excuse me. Yo, I want it. Worth it. It, it just leads to, uh... Just leads to my jeans not, not lasting that long. Socks I get, because again, I, I kind of walk, you know, more on the balls of my feet than uh, most people, so I think that that causes, you know, disproportionate wear and tear on that section of the sock, and that's always where my socks break. Um, the pants, I don't know. I think, to be honest with you, I think maybe I got a big butt. <laughs> I've never really, never really thought to measure it, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking I might have a booty. I'm thinking that might be what kind, the jeans are just getting stretched. I got to I got Sir Mix-a-Lot's ideal proportions, unfortunately. Not because I have anything against Sir Mix-a-Lot, it's just unfortunate, because, you know... It's probably one of those situations, you know, I'm packing uh, groceries into my trunk. Dudes walk by and they're like, yo, take a look at that. And then I turn around and it's a, it's a ball guy in a hat. And they're like, what? I don't know. It might not be true. <laughs> I might be... I might be living in a fantasy world, but I gotta come up with some reason, because, you know, the, the jeans are not lasting as long as I feel like they do on an average purse. You know what we need to invent? This reminds me. We should come up with an incredible invention, okay? Work with me on this one. Smart jeans. So they're jeans that connect to an app on your phone that tell you when there's a hole in them, so you don't have to wait until somebody goes, oh, there's a hole in your jeans, or alternatively, you're like, there's a breeze. And then, you know, you realize there's a hole in your jeans. How about that? Smart jeans. Jeans that connect to a phone, or an app on your phone, I should say. This is an incredible invention. 
Don't steal this idea. No copyright infringement intended. It's actually, I mean, obviously it's a terrible idea. I would never buy smart jeans. Um, I prefer most of my appliances and, and purchases to be very dumb, to be honest. I don't, anytime I download something and it's like, you know, if you really want to take it to the next level, you can connect it to your app. I'm like, eh, it's all right. It's just a toothbrush. I've been doing it for years. So you are probably, well, you're definitely Steam Sale. So let's turn you into something else. Shot speed is out of control. If we're, I mean, this run has now hit critical mass. We're going to dominate. What should we do? Um, we should use AWAS to get out of boss rush. Ooh, it's beautiful. This is the, <laughs> I have not had a run this powerful in a long, long time. Um, I, I will try one of these. Let's see what you got. Scatter bombs, obviously not worth that much. Also an ancient meme. We put bombs in your bombs. But we got something for nothing. This, uh, dude, I'm telling you, this is the kind of run we needed. We've had so many high pressure runs lately. This is like, you know, summertime and the living's easy. I don't, I don't know the rest of the lyrics. I only, to be honest, I only know. Um... Wait, is that the, is that Sublime? I can't remember. Well, qualified to represent the LBC. I don't, I don't know the rest of the words. Uh, the only Sublime song I know is uh, uh, What I Got, and then my hometown started playing Santa Ria in my senior year of high school, despite the song being like 15 years old. They finally got the missive that the song was, was you know, good. I'm not a huge Sublime fan, you know? What I Got, I think it's a good song, but it's also like... I don't know, I have a weird relationship with some of those songs, because, uh, you know, they were, like, unbelievably, absurdly popular uh, in my high school. And as a result, you know, I've heard what I've got, like, literally, I don't know, 1,500 times over the course of my, you know, existence on planet Earth. And, and as a result, kind of like, you know, I think, it's a, I think it's a great song. But I could also go with never hearing it again as long as I live. Like, I, I can play the whole thing in my head. Easily. This is not an XL floor. There's a few songs like that that, uh, you know, I they might be good songs. They might be great songs, but just because of the fact that I've heard them too much, I never want to hear them again. The classic example, actually, I've got two very classic examples. I, I've got three very classic examples, and they all annoy the same demographic. I apologize for this. I actually have like seven. More are popping to mind every single millisecond that I think about this. But the three big ones for me, I'll start, you know, in, in order of increasing severity. Hold on. Let's see what this is. Head of Krampus. We don't I don't honestly I don't really care about sucking it up. Um Hotel California. It's just it's played on every single classic rock station ever. Um I don't have a real problem with the song, except that I've heard it, I don't know. Probably twenty five hundred times in my life, and I've never willingly played it myself. You know? I've 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 just been Exposed to it that much. Now, I don't think Hotel California is a bad song, but if I never heard it again, it would be too soon. Uh, Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi. By the way, there is a there's a common theme here in in amongst all these songs. The common theme is 1980s songs that boomers love to sing along to after they've had two glasses of Chardonnay. Living on a Prayer. Um, same sort of situation. I don't necessarily. There was a time where I might have said that I enjoy that song. That time, that time has passed, but uh, just heard it too much. The number one most egregious example, for sure, is uh, "Don't Stop Believing" by Journey. I I have come to the point with that song where I think that it is a good and I I like Journey. Okay, when the lights go down in the city and the sun sets on the bay i like these songs but uh don't stop believing gets played about 
20 times more than any other Journey song, including uh, Any Way You Want It, which is a mercifully short three minutes uh, of, of rock and roll goodness. Don't Stop Believing, on the other hand, is hand-wringing melancholy about getting out of this town. I just, I hate songs about getting out of this town, except, uh, you know, the skin of my yellow country teeth by Clap Your Hands Say Yeah. That's, that's where I'm at with it. There's other examples, I'll tell you. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I basically have cultured a distaste for any song that is a go-to, hey, we've only got one song left, a karaoke sort of hit. Because you know what I'm putting up next, Bohemian Rhapsody. I, I, you know, when I was in middle school, listened to Bohemian Rhapsody willfully all the time, loved it. Still think it's a good song, but... The number of times I've been out at like a karaoke sort of situation and uh, they're like, hey, we only have one song left, let's do Bohemian Rhapsody. And you're like, ah, it's uh, six and a half minutes long and uh, this is my 400th time doing it. I've, I've wasted a year of my life going no, 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 oh mama mia, mama mia. Anyway, that's, I, that's all I'm saying. Is it, you know, you, you can ruin a song by it being overplayed. You, you can at least take away from the, the value of the song a little bit. It's not me being a hipster. I mean, it's not a hipster to be like, Ugh, I don't like Bon Jovi. That's just rational. <laughs> I don't hate Bon Jovi because it's popular. I hate, you know... I, don't, I mean, I don't hate Bon Jovi to begin with. I don't think we need that. Um... But, you know, I, it's more like multi-millionaires being like, We gotta get out of this Rust Belt town. You know, I'm just, uh, how many how many songs like that can exist, you know? There's too many. They also, I mean, this is not uh, Journey's fault, but they played Don't Stop Believing in the third period of every Canucks game. And I'm just like, you know, like... The, I don't want to be rude to the people organizing the Canucks fan experience, but like people go to multiple games. Well, I go to like two or three games a year, but there's people there that go to all 41 home games, right? That means you're hearing "Don't Stop Believing" like once every, I don't know, once every eight days annually. Front loaded, obviously, the the fall and winter seasons, but like that's too much. You gotta, you gotta mix it up. Like, you can't play Don't Stop Believing at every game. I think, you know, if the team's down by two with ten minutes left in the third, you can bust out Don't Stop Believing. I've been to games where the Canucks are up, like, you know, 4-1 with ten minutes left. And they're like, Don't Stop Believing. The, the spirit of the song is not befitting this moment. You gotta, you gotta work on your playlist. It's like you never made a mixtape before. What is wrong with you? The mixtape, it has, to, it has to flow. You have to have songs for every given moment. You know, you have to. It's like a wine pairing or something like that. You gotta cultivate a, an experience. Anyway, I, you know, I, the run is good when I can afford to talk about nonsense like this. We are just making unbelievable progress. This is. Uh, the 11th win of this streak has been the easiest win, I think, so far. And I, uh, just to level, you could not be more pleased. Even our shot speed stat is, like, comical here. No, I mean, I don't, I, we do have five luck. Sorry, we do have six luck. We might as well. I don't care if you want to pay out with something, pay out with something. I'm getting the heck out of this run. I got a shower before my stream, brother. I believe, hey, look. I don't think I need to shower before stream. I don't think anyone would be like, hey, it looks like this guy hasn't showered. When you're bald, you can really hide uh, a lack of cleanliness quite easily. However, I feel better after I shower, and I feel like if you feel better, you stream better. You know, you, you put yourself in a position where you, you've made yourself slightly more presentable and less stinky, you feel better as a result, you know, you're, you're more easygoing, the jokes come a little bit faster. 
I think that stuff all has a knock-on effect. I'm definitely a shower before stream sort of guy. I don't like to do anything in my day before showering. I will say I did go to the grocery store before showering today. And it felt very wrong. Like my brain was like, should I feel hungover? <laughs> Even though I didn't drink, should I? Like, is that what's happening here? You're wearing the same shirt you wore to bed last night out in public. Is uh, is everything okay? Do I need to... Calling your parents. No, it's not It's not like that. It was just a, it was a matter of convenience. I needed coffee desperately. I'll take it. Three rate of fire, 11 damage. It's, this is like... Uh, the last lost run we had, I think if you stacked up all of our attributes three times in a row, you might hit this level of damage. Excuse me. That's our second forever alone in, like, as many rooms. This is an incredibly strong... I I'm a happy man. This is... This has reversed my mood on Isaac, uh, 180 degrees. You know why they call it the Xbox 360? It's because when you see it, you turn 360 degrees and walk away. <laughs> Moonwalk away, that is. The bullet is enormous, there is no escape. We've done it. For now, thanks for watching. It's been a good day of Isaac. If you enjoyed the episodes, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. See ya!